One of the things that's really increased my speed in ZBrush is not what you might expect. I have always looked for ways to become more efficient in my workflow. One of the obvious ways is by using keyboard shortcuts. If you've been using ZBrush for any amount of time, you probably already have your favorites. Using custom interfaces and brush hotkeys are some ways people have sped up their workflow. Let me share with you the thing that has probably increased my speed more than anything else. It's my keyboard, a fairly standard gaming keyboard like most of us already have. The cool part is the 12 programmable keys on the left side. Any gaming keyboard that allows you to program these keys will work. You can set these keys to specific brushes or actions inside of ZBrush. This is much faster than on-screen buttons or even the default brush hotkeys using the brush menu. There's a trick though. You can't just set these programmable keys to the existing brush menu shortcuts. They need to be reassigned to an alternate hotkey that will work with the programmable keyboard. You might ask, why not just assign the B key brush hotkeys, like BST, to the programmable keys? There are a couple of reasons why this won't work. If you add additional brushes to your brush library, this will change what the hotkey is. Another reason has to do with the timing of the programmable keys. It just doesn't work. I mostly use just the six bottom keys on my keyboard. If you have fewer programmable keys, that will work just fine. Think about what brushes you use the most. Get out a piece of paper and draw out the programmable keys on your keyboard. Write down the brushes you use the most in the location you would like to place them. I put the brushes I use the most closer to the bottom. You might have to do some experimentation as you find out what works best for you. I will show you how you can set this up in ZBrush and also on the keyboard. Your keyboard software might be a little different, but it should work about the same. To set up a hotkey in ZBrush, I will start by docking the brush palette to the side. Select the brush you want to set a hotkey for from the brush menu. It will now show up in the frequently used brush palette. To set the hotkey, hold down Ctrl and Alt and click on the brush in the brush palette. Notice how you will be instructed to press any combination to assign a custom hotkey at the top of the screen. Assign a new hotkey to your brush now. There are a lot of available hotkeys using the Alt key as a modifier. For example, I will set my standard brush to Alt-S. It doesn't matter so much what you pick because you will just assign this to your programmable key on the keyboard. This part can be a little tricky. If you click on the canvas or other menu items, it will disable the hotkey setting process. Write down on your paper what your new hotkey for the brush is. If you forget or want to know what the hotkey is for that brush, just hover over it in the brush palette. The pop-up will tell you the key next to the brush description. Repeat this process for all the brushes you want to assign to the programmable keys on your keyboard. Remember Control alt and click on the brush to activate the hotkey setting mode. When you have finished setting the new hotkeys, you will need to store and save your hotkeys. Open the Preferences tab and the Hotkey palette. Click Store to save these new hotkeys to your startup file. Also, save your hotkey file as a backup in case you wish to reload them later. Now I will set up the programmable keys. I will demonstrate with the Logitech tools, but other keyboard software should be similar. Create a new profile that will be used just for ZBrush. It will ask for the program executable file, so every time you start the software, it will load these hotkeys. Use the plus icon to create a new command. In the keystroke field, enter your brush hotkey. This is where the paper you wrote all of the hotkeys on comes in handy. With this software, you can drag the command to the desired programmable key. Repeat this process for the rest of the keys. Using these programmable keys will speed up your work, since you won't need to move your hand as much and you will be able to access the brushes you use the most with just your little finger. You can also use this method to assign brushes to the buttons on your tablet. As you think about your workflow, try to use the existing keyboard hotkeys as well. 
it helps to learn Q, W, E, R for move, rotate, and scale. Some of the other keys to use are S for brush sizing and C for the color picker. Refine and change your programmable hotkeys as you figure out what works best for you. Using your programmable keys will greatly increase how smoothly and quickly you can sculpt.